Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And those of you that are new here, welcome to Debo's Nation. In a gripping and unsettling video, watch as police officers confront a man who's been caught offering candy to children in an alarming attempt to lure them into his truck. The situation unfolds with high tension as law enforcement steps in to investigate the suspicious and potentially dangerous behavior. This critical moment captures the urgency of ensuring child safety and the swift action taken by the police to address a serious threat. Stay tuned to see how the situation is resolved and the crucial steps taken to protect the community. On May 5, 2023, officers tracked down a suspect reported to be offering children candy to get into his truck. What's up, man? Looking for a Leon, or whatever his name is. Leon? Uh, who owns that truck? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Is he home? Huh? Is he home? I don't know. Come on, man. You don't know if he's home? I don't know. I'm just here. Okay. I'm his friend. What would you do? Like Jana, your parts. Yeah. So, we'll do this a couple of ways. Okay, he's not in any trouble right now. Were you in the truck with him earlier? You know why we're here, right? It's the stuff you guys said to those kids over there. What kids? Tell them to come out here. The truck pulled up beside him and asked him if he wanted candy, a PS5, and a Switch to get into the truck. There's two guys that stopped in the black beat up truck and they asked us to get in. Tell him to come out here. He's in the shower right now. I'm going to pull everyone out the house. I'm going to get a search warrant for your house. For what? And when he's done with this, I'll, that's not how this is going to work. Okay, he could come out here and we could be adults and cordial about it. He's in the shower right now, bro. Then tell him just to come out and talk to us when he's done. Okay. okay. Hello. Tell him to step it up, though, because we're not going to sit out here all day. Fair enough. Okay. Go let him know. The only problem would be you guys giving us red flags to not want to talk to us. That's the only problem that could happen right now, okay? All right. That's it. All right. No problem. Thanks. As soon as you got, I'll have money. Yep. Let them know, okay? Yeah, gotcha. Central, clear my job. Offering kids candy, a PS5, and a Switch to lure a nine-year-old into his truck is deeply disturbing behavior. This man's suspicious actions raise serious concerns, especially given the alarming testimony from a child who has no reason to fabricate such claims. The situation is both troubling and urgent, highlighting the need for immediate intervention to ensure the safety and well-being of those children. I love when they play dumb. Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> hey, Bella, do you want to stay in the shower? Well, I told you guys are out here. Alright. Were you with them? Because they described a guy in blue shirt, blue shorts and all that. That's funny, blue shorts, because if I was even sitting in the truck, you wouldn't be able to see my shorts, so. Sorry okay. about your full of shit. You didn't nice. get out then? Huh? You didn't get out? No, who the fuck's getting out of that piece of shit? I don't know. Yeah, nobody. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. So, listen, like he said. Like who said? The kid with the deputy over here. You got, you got a problem, dude? Do you yeah. want there to be a problem? Do you have a problem? With you, I do. I don't, I don't have a problem. No? Okay. Not really. All right. And like I'm just said, wondering what, what the attitude's about, you know? Like, I just don't like cops. Well, because, no, yeah. You, get in trouble, you do stupid stuff on occasion? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it. I, I get it. We all do stupid stuff, right? Yeah, that's cool. One day you'll grow up and realize you do stupid stuff and mature. Okay. Who's tr whose van is this? I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, people usually act like this when they know they just did something stupid. Oh, shut, up. shut up, yeah. Yeah, you're really you're really getting there, man. Feelings hurt? Huh? Feelings hurt? Are my feelings hurt? Yeah. This man's evasive responses to the police are deeply unsettling. His reluctance to answer straightforward questions and his overall suspicious attitude raise serious red flags for me. He claims not to have any knowledge of who's in the house whether he's interacted with any children recently, or even whose van is parked in his driveway. 
such evasiveness suggests that he's hiding something and it's reassuring to see the police are pressing for answers in this concerning situation all right buddy i'll be right back you get me nice okay you look pretty good in that uniform thanks man they're new uniforms oh yeah What's up, ma'am? How you doing? Good. You drive this truck? That's not yeah. Okay. You were just out driving around earlier? No, I don't even run. No, you, you were. Don't play dumb. No, earlier, yeah. All right, yeah. Right now, we we had two we had two calls from different people about about you driving that truck out, all right? Yes, sir. I don't care that you were driving the truck. No, yes, sir. All right, did you, did you talk to anybody on no, you? it's not running. Did no. you, just right now? No, yeah, it's stuck in. I don't care. Neutral. It, There's some yeah, what were you, uh, what were you up to earlier? Driving I around? I rolled the truck over the weekend. I showed him it still ran. Yeah, I saw you were in an accident or something like that. Yes, sir. So we got two reports of you stopping to talk to some kids on the side of the road. So why are you turning and looking at him? What's that look all about? Yeah, they started talking about the game kids back. Yeah, see that look? That's like, yeah, we did something stupid no, I and we're playing that. dumb. Somebody did something dumb and you know it was yeah, one no, of you. I didn't even, uh, honest to God, uh, I'm focused on Two people truck. called about that truck. Oh, I believe it. Stopping to talk to some kids. Okay? Oh, I didn't talking to no kids. Yeah, no, Not me. It was one of you. It's very disturbing that when asked if he had been talking to any kids recently, he looked to a friend for answers. This reaction raises further suspicion about his honesty and his intentions. Such behavior suggests he might be hiding something and further underscores the need for thorough questioning by the police. So Wayne here said he was driving a truck, but I have no idea what we're talking about. So. Well, just listen, guys. Um, so luring and enticing a child, a minor, an adult doing that is a crime? All right, yes, and, I, I'm, I'm still unaware of what I did. Like, you yeah. can pull the camera footage from the corner store here. I never stopped and talked to no kid. Okay. Well, a nine-year-old reporting something like that to us isn't something well, I never stopped and talked to no kid. Okay. He reported, described your truck to a team. Oh, yeah. I, okay. I, I don't, shit. And someone, yeah, someone yeah. who is not involved, just a random person, saw you talking to the kid and called it in, too, before the... <laughs> is Bella on the back store? May yeah, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> huh? May I ask where this happened? Yeah, so a nine year old uh, is reporting to us that yeah, someone in that truck over on Sunnybrook. Yeah, right here by the made, bar. made some comments that, hey, you want candy, you want a Nintendo Switch, and there was a Don't third thing. No shit like that, bro. No, you I'm can, just telling you, you what happened. If, if, right if, over here. You can pull the camera for you pull camera footage from any one of these houses, man. If something else was That's said where maybe the kid Thinks that happened? No, I mean, that'd be no, sir. Something to tell us. We, I was just giving. I just rolled. I thought you guys were here because that thing was on the damn road because it's not real legal. Man. Yeah, I don't care. We don't see it driving, so I don't. No, yes, sir. I I understand, but just if you drive yeah, it like that, it, you can't get stopped. Stop talking to no kid. You can pull any camera footage around here. Did you guys like? I mean, did kids cause you issues? Was there a group no, of kids no, causing you guys no. issues? No. No. Yeah, I mean, I'm. You didn't see any other black people, trucks on the road? Him? Maybe. No, that shit. You can't miss my truck. No, I know, but I'm making sure we don't have the wrong truck. Did you guys no. see another? This type of video is extremely disturbing for me. The individuals involved give off serious creep vibes. And there's an undeniable sense that something troubling is happening here. The situation clearly warrants a thorough investigation to ensure the safety of the children involved. The unsettling behavior and evasive responses are major red flags that need to be addressed to protect the community. Just for sure. If you said it ain't got no bed, bitch, I'm the only one around here yeah, with no yeah. bed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just took it off two days ago. So, but no, I never said. Shit, if anything, I may, may have been yelling at him. Asking him if you wanted candy? No. Okay. I never said candy. Nobody, nobody even said nothing. I never said candy. Me. Candy never came out of my mouth. Okay. So, Copy. just you guys are being cool now, so we'll speed this along. But basically, we are investigating a crime. All right, at this point still. All right. Um, 
You told us you were driving the truck. We know yeah, he was sir. a passenger. No we're making sure if any IDs, official IDs, can be made. So yes, until uh, I'm gonna go call my deputy now to see if that's I happening. Mean, I mean, you need my ID. No, unless we don't I have don't it. I have my ID on me, but I did give him all my right. Yeah, you're fine. Information. So until I get that call that we're we're done here, you guys are staying right here. Okay. All right. All right. So we're gonna take a little short ride, and like that paper said, don't feel pressure like you have to, you know, pick somebody out. All right. We don't want to accidentally arrest the wrong person. Okay. All right. I'm around to your location now. Hey, you guys can stand up. Stand about 15 feet apart. Just come on up, come on up here. Want them to stand in the yard? Yeah, just um, you can come in the grass. You're good right there. The truck in question is highly distinctive and unmistakable. In the video, an officer speaks with one of the children who will drive by to identify the suspect. To ensure an accurate identification, the officer positions the two men 15 feet apart while the police vehicle carrying the young boy approaches. This careful approach helps confirm whether the man who spoke to the child is indeed the suspect, underscoring the seriousness of the investigation. It's a truck. Okay. Do you see the person who was saying that? The blue one. This guy in the blue? Yeah. Okay, how certain are you? Certain. Just turn your radio down a little bit. Just in. Off? Yeah, just down enough for her. He's about to say something. Um, that's affirmative. 10 4, which one? Blue shirt. Copy. All right, I'm gonna look up a couple things real quick. Yeah, um, yeah. You guys can sit back down where you were. You heard that, right? I'm gonna look up a couple things real quick. Come on. Do you want to give me a sworn report statement in regards to what what occurred? Yeah, I can. Okay. Do you know the meaning of perjury? Perjury. <laughs> I'll explain it. Uh, no, okay, perjury right. is a crime in the state of Florida. It can be committed by telling lies or omitting information, which is leaving information out while well, under oath. Perjury is a crime in the state of Florida. Do you understand what I explained about perjury? Yeah. All right, probably taking a sworn statement I'm placing under oath, if you could raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the statement you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. All right. So you know why we're here. We already talked to you earlier. Um, would you like to say anything about that matter at all? No. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I know that we went for a drive, did yeah. a trail, stopped at... Well, it's Darcy's house, but we stopped there to talk to Chase because he's staying there right now. Okay. And we drove back here. At any point, do you remember seeing any kids? Uh, or talking or talking to any kids on the side of the road, walking home from school? I don't remember. You don't remember? I don't think we did. I don't okay. believe so. You don't, you don't believe you talked to anybody? Okay. Your chance to be honest with me, did you guys, so you're saying you did not talk to any kids on the side of the road at all? No. Not at all? I mean, I was yelling at Layton, but I was not yelling to no kids, nobody on the side of the road. Do you remember seeing any like walking that. by or anything like that? I was not no. even paying attention. Okay. Um, anything you want to change that or delete from what you told me? No. All right. This concludes the statement. Time is 5.13 p.m. He continues to be very evasive and refuses to answer questions truthfully. A nine-year-old child who has interacted with this man has no reason to lie in the situation. Given the child's direct experience, their accounts should be taken very seriously, and the man's ongoing evasiveness only raises further concerns about his involvement. All right, you can go sit over there. All right. Layton, you're free to go. So, Joseph, are you going to come with us? Come on. Stand up. I'm going to go back. Can I give him my vape? Uh, his, oh, wait, his charger's in my pocket, too. Yeah, what's on you goes with you. Well. 
Come here, man. Can I get my shoes up? So when I do get out of jail. Those ones right there? No, they're never mind. Never mind. Forget about it. So you're going for luring enticing. That's true. It's not cute. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, go yourself. Two counts, correct? Yeah, man, Even if you joke around, it's so stupid. Yeah, go f yourself. Okay. He was charged with two counts of luring a child under 12 by a person 18 or older. Thank you, we just got another one off the street. Thank you for watching. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, it was hard for me to, to do this video because of the content, but uh, we got through it. And uh, please share this video out. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and all my members. Thank you very much for your great generosity. It's greatly appreciated. I couldn't do this without you. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me and, um, and having my back and through all this. So thank you very much. So with that being said, we're going to end it here. And uh, please share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget that I have Amazon links in the description. So if you have anything to buy at Amazon, please cl click on those links and shop away. And until next time, Debo's out.